Hello all, welcome back. This is Crooked League and we're looking at a special edition correction video for Operation Overlord, January 1942. This would be for the Japanese. So we'll make this rather quick. I don't want to take up everyone's time here. Um, so it was pointed out and I completely forgot, but the destroyers that are not involved in the actual surprise attack or any other vessels that aren't in the surprise attack don't get the movement bonus. And so the two destroyers that would have landed units from 29 can't not do so. Um, themselves. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange the destroyers that were used initially in the, that round um, of the battle. Um, there won't be a change in results. We're still taking the same targets, but we're just going to rearrange the ones that are closer and use the others that are further away for the same exact targets, just a little different. Um, so the, at the end result, basically what will happen is instead of British Columbia having an infantry, it'll have a marine and midway will have a marine instead of an infantry. That's the only end change result for this, but I just wanted to do a correction video to show it, along with a correction to the naval battle for the US. And there's also a note for casualties that were taken in Hong Kong, but we'll get to that here in just a second. So as you can see, we've reset the board with the destroyers in orange here, along with the, the infantry in orange and the marine in orange just to show you the starting units of last turn and where they were at. So basically what's gonna happen is the destroyer that's I believe in 41 or 27, one of the two, it's still gonna hit its target in 20 and drop an infantry in Alaska. So there's no changes to him at all. Um, the destroyer that is here in 61, instead of him just going into 62 and taking midway, he's actually gonna go one, two, three into C zone 29 along with the big fleet before war is declared, go into 29 and it will drop an infantry into the Pacific Northwest. Okay. And then line islands down here, rather than him going back towards Mariana, he's going to go North one, two, three, and he's also going to drop an infantry in British Columbia. And so that's where we'll start swapping things. So, Rather than it being a Marine, it's going to be an infantry. So I've got my Marine ship here. And so then this destroyer that's here in 56, rather than him going all the way over and dropping a guy in British Columbia with five movement bonus, he's only going to move four, but actually just three. He's going to go one, two, three, and drop the Marine here in Midway. So we'll take that Marine ship and we'll put that there. And so that change has been made. So... And then you might ask, okay, well, where did the, the destroyer with the infantry that started in 99 go? And then remember the other destroyer carried a Marine over into the battle at 88. Um, so no change there. The one at 99, rather than him originally going all the way north, he's just going to do a hop and skip to 93 and then 91 and drop a guy at the Mariana Islands. So no needed change there. Um... So that's addressed. And then looking back over things here, real quick, before we get into the US battle correction, which is very minor, but it's a correction, I just wanted to go ahead and, and shout out that in Hong Kong, we did swap out a Marine as the casualty rather than an infantry because of amphibious assault rules, the Marine has to be taken as a casualty first in Hong Kong rather than an infantry. So there's now two infantry, uh, an artillery, and a marine there, rather than two marines and an infantry and artillery. So that's corrected. As you can see, we've now corrected the, the naval battles or amphibious landings that we did with the destroyers. So let's go ahead and do a correction real quick for the naval battle that was in 29. So it was pointed out that a couple of things were missed, and I'm not surprised, but they were missed on my part. Um, the first is that the U.S. did suffer a negative one penalty to their um, defense, so they would have hit on lower values. So they actually did not hit one of the submarines that were originally hit and taken as a casualty. So we'll currently have two subs there remaining in 29. However, we did miss a destroyer on the very last, oh, well, on the last round, there was only two rounds of combat, but on the last round of combat, and it would have rolled at a four or less. So we need to roll for that. Now, assuming, and I don't need to roll for the sub because we 
had overwhelming odds and, and took out the fleet on the second round regardless of that second um, sub. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll real quick and see if his destroyer gets lucky and kills that last, or kills kills the extra sub that we ended up getting that we didn't initially lose. So he needs a four or less. And so he got an 11. So that misses. So no changes there. So ultimately the end result is we actually have one additional submarine in C zone 29. So the end result there is that we have two submarines, two destroyers, four light cruisers, four heavy cruisers, and a battle cruiser in C zone 29. So with that said, that's it for the correction video. Um, I did notice that I didn't do the coastal sub raid, so I'm not even going to worry about that because that does change things. Um, the only thing that I am going to put out there as a change, if everyone's okay with it, is I'd like to use the transport that's an 88 that did not move at all to transport two infantry from Siam north to Kwangtung. So the destroyer or the transport stays in the same sea zone and there wouldn't be a change. But as I said, it'd just be the, the transport doing a one and done of two infantry from Siam up to Kwangtung. If you all aren't comfortable with that, it's no big deal. This is a correction video. Um, but we'll 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 find out one way or the other. You guys just let me know in the comments. Um what your position is on it um, when I'll message you guys in Discord. But uh, otherwise, there are no other changes to the board. And I believe that that is the end result for the surprise attack round um, of January 1942. So thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this is Crooked Leg, and we are here in the Kansas City War Room, and we are signing out. So thanks for tuning in, guys.